Hey guys, welcome to this video. If you are, if, when you are watching this video, my family and I just got back from a 27 day long trip to Europe. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys five tips of traveling with an immune compromised loved one or you yourself are immune compromised. Obviously there is not no 100% preventative for any kind of sickness, but when you are traveling, especially in an airplane or in public transport, it is so easy to get sick. And for me, because I am immunocompromised, which basically means I get sick easier, and when I get sick, I get really sick, like a cold concerning bronchitis or strep in a stretch of like two days. So we try everything as we can in our power to prevent that. So I'm going to share with you guys, like I just mentioned, five tips of what we've done throughout the years, not just be during the past couple of years when kind of my relapse with my health started, but we've kind of always done these things. So the number, the first one is, I think is so obvious, but at the same time, totally needs to be shared. It's hand sanitizer, and yes, my hand sanitizer is in a unicorn holder. Yeah, I think it's awesome, but hand sanitizer is so obvious, but so essential and so important when you are traveling. As a family, each one of us, if we have to touch our face, if we have a niche, hand sanitizer and then do that. Obviously, there's going to be moments where you subconsciously touch your face, but you have to be really aware and when you want to itch something or you want to rub your eyes, hand sanitizer is the way to go. The same way just with eating. Hand sanitizer before eating, hand sanitizer before medication, hand Sorry, the camera totally just fell down. Everything's just like stopping this video and I don't know why, but I don't know. So hand sanitizer is practically, actually, really an important thing and essential. And also, don't just take one, take several. We take so many hand sanitizers. We each have our own. There's five people when we're traveling, so we each have our own hand sanitizer and a backup hand sanitizer, so total will probably bring like seven, but hand sanitizer is the way to go, guys. And another tip that I think is so, so important to utilize is wet wipes, disinfectant wipes, Clorox, whatever you bring. You can get these literally anywhere and everywhere. They are super cheap and they are awesome. Let me tell you, they are awesome for so many things. So when my family and I get into an airplane, the very first thing we do before we even get settled is we use wet wipes over everything. We clean the window, we clean the window pole thingy, shade, shade, I think that's what you call it. We clean that, we clean the armrests, we clean the seats, the seat belts, the tray, especially the tray. We clean the back of the headrest if there is one or if there's a screen, we clean that as well. And everything is like good to be clean. Like, these won't do anything to anything on the plane except clean what it needs to. If we just use these all the time, they are so important, so cheap, so inexpensive, but so very helpful at preventing so many yucky things. And kind of a sub tip in this tip is that never go barefoot on a plane. Now you can take your shoes off, but I highly recommend socks because guys, can you imagine what if somebody like, you don't does your mind can go wild with what could be on the ground so just yeah don't be barefoot have sandals or have socks to change into just don't touch the barefoot floor bare barefoot especially the bathroom but yeah wet wipes are the way to go and the next thing is bring masks bring them I like I mentioned, am immune compromised so masks are the way to go I highly recommend fog masks they're super cute, they're washable, they're reusable, and they have a little air filter. Some people say they aren't as good as like filtering out all the germs and stuff, like as a regular like hospital mask would, but I haven't had a problem. These have both helped me so much, so it's your own discretion, but I have never gotten sick wearing these. I might link these in the description box below, but I highly recommend them. I have two. I also have reusable washable masks that don't have an air filter that are just made out of fabric that I have like as my backup. Um, and we got those from Etsy before we found vlog masks, but yeah. So I have, this is my first one and then this is my second one. So highly recommend masks. So incredibly helpful and so important. And one of the last things that we do as a family when traveling as a preventative measure, as 
yeah, preventative measure. We also do these if we fall sick. And this is taking elderberry syrup. We get this from Sprouts, I believe. And it tastes really, either Sprouts or Amazon, but it tastes actually not bad. Like, I don't mind it. And I actually kind of like the taste, which I don't like stuff like this, which says a lot. But this is natural and it's a great preventative. It has helped me so many times when I was sick or to prevent sickness if I was around other people or even after getting sick. It boosts the immune system and it feels so good on your throat if you're sick. And it's just a really good natural preventative that isn't going to, in my, to my knowledge, it's not going to interfere with any other medications. Don't quote me on that, but I highly recommend elderberry syrup. It's pretty easy to get and it's worth it. And then the next thing that we take is um, essential oils, which these are doTERRA on guard gel pills, gel tablets, soft gels. That's the right word, soft gels. And these are awesome as well. They're natural and they do help prevent, they do help during sickness, and they do help after. So when we're traveling, we take this literally the whole week before we leave, and then every now and then when we're on the trip, the same thing with this. These are things that have helped my family so much. So I guess that ended up being only four. I thought I had five, but I totally miscounted. But all of these things, guys, all of these things, wet wipes, the mask, elderberry syrup on guard, hand sanitizer. These are so important, so, so important. And I recommend every single one of these things. So I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope these tips give you some insight on what I do and what has helped me personally. And hopefully these tips will transfer over to you so you can even be more aware and more cautious when you are traveling because people, as awesome as people are, they're very germy as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe while you're at it. Check out the description box with all the links and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.